Hey guys, uh, Forex here, hope you're all well. Um, what you're actually looking at in front of you is a Commodore 64 dual SID mod. Um, and I thought, I've got some time, why not install this thing and give it a bit of a test? So, uh, yeah, give me five minutes to set up and I'll get installing this thing. Okay guys, I've got my uh, Commodore in front of me, time to get in it. And there she is. Keyboard next. Shielding off, and there we go. There's my SID the 8580 dual SID. Um, basically, I want to talk about the way I'm going to connect this up. Um, Basically, um, I don't know if you can see this, it's just an end fern socket with a three pin connector on the end. I actually stole this off a fan. Um, basically all I did was braid it, you can see I braided it and just um, connected it to an end fern socket. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this thing because there's not much room. I could put it there. Uh, I, might, I might see if I can fit it in there. Will it fit in there? I think it will fit in there. See, that would be an ideal place for it because it's right next to the video connector. If I put it there. So yeah, I might just put it there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it there. That's where it's going, that's where it's going to live, guys. Um, yeah, let's stop messing about. Let me get my get my SID out. Um, easy to do. All I use is a screwdriver and just wiggle it. Just, you know, come one side a little bit. Other side, twist a little bit. Same again, other side. What eventually will happen is this thing will pop out there you go, see it's coming there you go so I'll put that to one side um, there's the one I've just taken out the 8580 and is the other one that I'm going to put in as well, the 6581. So that's that done. Um, in fact, uh, before I do that, what I need to do is because this is going to sit here like this, I'm going to have to bend a few of these capacitors over. So I'm just going to, you know gently move these capacitors out, uh, ceramic capacitors out of the way there you go, that's it, that'll do, that's fine so that's that what I need to do now is drill an hole here so I can connect my headphone socket um, Um, I don't think I'm ever going to use headphones on this because um, it's, you know if I connect beefy headphones to this I don't know how much it's going to stress the SID so um, yeah it's just going to be used as an output that goes straight to the TV then uh, then you know I'm going to have the, the wire going off to my Scott lead which uh, will be stereo and then I get stereo effect from my TV but what I can also do as well guys 
is I can connect, once I've done this, got this all hooked up, is I can connect this to my computer because my computer has an auxiliary in, which basically means I can capture the sound. Um, so once I've installed this, I can let you hear the stereo effect um, over, you know, YouTube. Um, be, uh, and it will be a really good capture as well because you know I could stand here with my camera and you let let you listen to the TV, but you won't get anywhere near the effect if I directly capture the audio coming out, and that's what I'm going to do. So uh, yeah, I need to drill an all next, guys. So uh, I'll be back in a little while. Yeah, okay, guys, back again. Um, basically, I've got a little like Brad all tool, and um, what I use this for is you know how you get the the like uh, solder breadboard, uh, sorry copper breadboard and it's got holes in it and you use it like a breadboard type thing well basically this this is just the thing that you go like that and it just cuts the copper away uh, and I thought I'd use this instead of go out going downstairs getting my drill out and all that lot so um, yeah I'm just going to screw this basically what I've done is I've just made a little I don't know if you can see that a little nick there yeah, so I know where I'm going Hey guys, back again. Um, I just went out and got my um, where is it? There it is. You can see it's like my Dremel tool. Um, I'm just going to wire in this hole. What I need to do now is file that down. So where's to go in there like that. and there you go look at that looks like it was meant for it <laughs> yeah so that's that what I might do um, because there's not much for this bolt to grip on you know because this case is pretty thick so I might glue this in. Yeah, I can't get it out. No, great. There you go. I've got it. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Let's make sure there's no crap in there. I'm gonna put a few dabs of super glue. I'm just gonna put a little dab there. A dab there. You see that? When I put the dab slot, you can see them. And I'm just going to glue this into place. Make sure it's in. There you go. Hold that there for a few seconds. Because, you know, this, this thing's got threads on it, and I've got like a little screw that goes over the end, but it, it's there's not much of the thread showing so uh, I don't know how much it's going to bite into this thread so if I glue it there you go, she's in I'll see how much of this I can get on so I can twist, oh it's come off, see there there's not enough there's not enough thread on it to bite it so that plan's gone out the window then. So I'll just have to glue it and hope it stays. What I might do is just put a bit of extra glue on the top corner there. So when this dries, there you go. Oh, I didn't really want to glue it in, guys. I, you know, I didn't have no choice. The threads weren't long enough. But yeah, that's in, that's, no, it's not going anywhere. You know, 
glimpse of it. Where am I? There she is. See the threads? You know, if I can get it on an angle and show you a lot, but it's just not quite enough to get that little bolt over the top of it. So that's why I had to glue it. But yeah, it's in, it's not going anywhere. You could talk on that all day and it's not going anywhere. So uh, yeah, that's that part done. It's sit time. <laughs> Yeah, give me a couple of seconds guys to set up and um, I'll get this juicy board in. <laughs> You're not going to believe this guys, I've made a boo-boo. Um, I put it in just to test the fit before I started recording. Um, I took it out and I bent one of the legs on the bottom. Can you see it? I went to bend it back and it snapped off. Unbelievable. <laughs> My looks, I've got to repair this now. Unbelievable. Oh dear, it's gonna be one of them days, isn't it? You can see it snapped off. Uh, I'm just thinking how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, okay guys, um, I managed to fix it, I don't know if you can see that, basically what I did was um, take the old, where am I there, there. I took the old leg off, um, sadly I had to remove the little bar here so I could get to the pin, which is that f first one where my nail is there. Um, and then I basically removed the pin and put a, a new pin in and basically all I did was use a, a, a leg off an LED um, but yeah I'm not going to do that again <laughs> that set me back 20 minutes uh, but yeah I've had a lot of check continuity you know that goes to there 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 and everything's fine so um, I managed to uh, salvage what could have been a massive cock up um, yeah, let me get my sim, uh, get this board in. Uh, okay. There we go. I think we're in. Make sure. Just have a look each side if I'm okay. Make sure all the legs are in, all the pins are in. Okay, that side looks okay. That side, make sure that pin I broke's gone in. Yeah, that's it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I don't know about that pin I just broke. I'm just going to check continuity because there's a there's a, there's a pad there that I can connect. Uh, so I check continuity. On. So I'm just going to. And it's this one here, and here's the pin. Yeah, I've got continuity. I just want them to make sure, guys, because um, I messed up. I look, hey, look, I make mistakes, I'm human. Everybody makes mistakes, guys. But yeah, that looks like it's in, and so. Uh, So yeah, that's that. In, um, what I need to do now is um, I can't remember which one of these. Um, See, so you have to hook this to one of these um, diodes, and I can't remember which one it is. So I'm just going to have a quick check, guys. So I'll be back in a little while. Yeah, okay, guys, back again. I've just had a quick look. It's this second one from the fuse. So it's one, two, this second one in. So I'm just going to hook that up now. Uh, I'm thinking away, how can I? Yeah. See, this is really handy, you know, because there's no soldering involved unless you break a pin like I did. <laughs> so that's that, and I think I might get away with doing that. So, 
Yeah, that's that's okay. Yeah, there you go. It's that in. Um, uh, yeah. Um, what I need to do now is power this thing on and check pin twenty-eight of each socket because each SID has different voltage. Um, the eight five eight zero has 9 volts and the 6581 uses 12 volts and I just you know it says in, it says in the guide as well what I'll do is I'll, I'll link the guide um, and where you can buy one of these um, in the description in my youtube channel um, so I need to do that next it, it says do it as well in the guide as well just to make sure because you know these SIDs are getting pretty expensive now I mean yeah, I already had that one, you know, it was already in, but this one cost me 25 quid. And the last thing I want to do is blow the arse out of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to just check that now, see if I've got the right voltage. So, power's on, nothing's smoking. Fuse looks still intact. go ground and measure pin 28 which is here and we're getting 9 volts can you see that guys we're getting 9 volts so that's the 8581 sorry 8580 and I want to measure pin 28 on the second side and I'm getting 12 volts I hope you can see that so yeah that's okay I, I'm pretty confident now putting my seeds in this thing um, so yeah, so I'm getting 9 volts on the 8580 and I'm getting 12 volts on a 6581. So um, yeah, I'm happy to put my SIDs in this thing now. So uh, power that off. Remove the power lead. So it's SID insertion time. What I'm going to do is just switch it on, just for a brief second, and switch it off, just so the power dissipates. First one I'm going to put in is my 8580. There you go. Let's see. Make sure all the pins are in. There's no pins sticking out over the side. I've got the notch going upwards, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, I originally seen this. Uh, well, basically the story is I've been looking for a, a dual SID board for a while now, and I've, uh, Gadget UK, I don't know if you know the guy, um, he's got a YouTube channel. Um, he's into the same things I am, modding, repairing, that sort of thing. And um, I seen it on his channel and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get one of those. And um, I bit the bullet and bought one. Um, yeah, and I'm installing it now. What I'll do as well is I'll link his channel into uh, my description. You know, seriously guys, the guy's, the guy's pretty awesome, you know. He, he, there's not much he can't fix, you know. And he's, you know, Commodore Amigas, Commodore 64s, Neo Geos, you know, consoles. Check his channel out, guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm putting this last seed in. And we should be golden. I should be really wearing an anti static band. There you go. Seeds in. Make sure that's good. Both my SIDs are in the socket. Yep, both of them are in. It's official. It's official. We have a dual SID Commodore 64. <laughs> okay, what next? Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. Let me just grab them. 
Um, I went on eBay. Oh, look what I've done, guys. Look what I've done. Catastrophic mistake. Catastrophic mistake. Oh, this could have gone bad really quick. It's a real good job I've seen that. Really good job I've seen that. It was in the wrong way round. Just shows you, don't it? We all make mistakes. Now if I had to switch this on, with that in this way around, it was bye bye Sid. So yeah, they're in, just Sid boards in, power. Yeah, good job I clocked that guys, that could have gone bad really quick. Um, what I did is I went on eBay and bought some heat sinks. Um, and the reason for that is because because the 6581 takes the 12 volts it can produce a little bit more heat so uh, what I'm going to do is just put you know a few heat sinks on it just so the heat dissipates better So yeah, there's my dual seats. Oh, I hope my keyboard fits on. That's not going to be very good if my keyboard don't fit on now, is it? Let's check that. And I don't think it does, guys. Keyboard's not going to fit now. That's, yeah, you can see look, this thing is really sticking up. How the hell am I going to get my keyboard back there? I'm going to have to use it without the heat sink on. Hmm. That's a bummer. Basically what I want to do now is get it all connected up. So I'm just going to go through there like this. And uh, let me work with this. Uh, let's, this is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, that. My big ginger bed in the way, sorry guys. Slot on there, there you go. We're in. Basically, tie that up. 
and that's basically all she wrote. And that is basically it. Just got to put it all back together and test see if it works. So I'll be back in a little while, guys. Hey guys, Forex here, back again. Um, what I'm actually doing now is I'm actually captioning the uh, the audio coming out of the Commodore 64 Juicy. You can see the output here, and it's going straight into my PC sound card. Uh, I'm actually capturing it with um, SoundForge Pro 10, and I'm in the middle of capturing um, Last Ninja 3. And uh, yeah, there it is playing on my TV. Look, and uh, capturing the audio. Um, <laughs> First impressions of this thing, guys. On believable wait till you hear this thing because I'm capturing it so I can play how you you know how I'm hearing it because uh, this camera won't pick it up properly but wait till you hear this thing it is insanely good
Thank you.